what is up, you guys? I'm putting my uh, steps in here, like two at the top. And typically, I, re I would prefer to get my steps in and do it every day, sometimes the day is not a goal. It's fun. But today, we are on schedule. I'm going to take you through my day. And we're going to be doing a hard leg workout, so you better um, wear your own. I really want to stab my eyes out right now. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there's my words. Here, let's let's savor those. Hold on a second. Are, are these gonna go away? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? We're just gonna, you know, go in the trash. Okay. All right, you little fucker. Look, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. But yet we make time for this because ha ha ha. This is what we do. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hold on. I feel like I'm talking to my cat. Okay. Oh, now I can't even see the. Okay. This is painful to watch. I don't care. <laughs> I'm determined. That's like this is all you got to do. <clears throat> Where'd I go? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm done. What are you doing? Um, I just posted. My um, picture to um, threads, and now I'm just making sure it gets on Twitter. So, what's better? This is the question of the day: Twitter or threads? Twitter. Why Twitter? Did you hear that noise? Yeah, that was Twitter saying tweet. Wait, shh. They turn it up. Wait, ready? So, why is Twitter better? Um. I have all my, <laughs> I have all my astrology updates on here. But you have all that on TikTok too. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get confused because I'm like, if I like a post, I like, I'll continue seeing like that same kind of like style post like over and over again. And then I'm like in my mind, okay, is this a sign? Or like, is this just now because of the algorithm? Like, well, is this that's now? TikTok, <laughs> that's TikTok capturing you in the algorithm. You think so? Yeah, for sure. But it's really accurate most of the time. Like it'll be like... How many people do you think say that? Like it'll be like, they're coming back. Like just give them time. They're going through their karmic transition in life and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, but who's coming back? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anybody to begin with. Like who's coming back? And then I'm like, is someone coming back? No. I feel like the people that would come back are blocked. So like I don't know how they'd approach me. All the people that are blocked would just create fake numbers in the texture off of it. It's honestly pathetic. <laughs> like grown ass, grown ass, <laughs> grown ass men do this shit. I don't know. Grown ass men don't do that. No. Boys with petty <laughs> mentalities. <laughs> <they're>... <laughs> never create. I've never if asked I... my buddy for his cell phone to go text a girl that blocked me. If I if I expose some of the people. Like, they, they would be fucked. Like, they'd be humiliated. But I don't do that. I'm nice. You're nice. You are nice. You're not nice, you're kind. I'm kind, that's right. Damn right. Okay, what's the difference between nice and kind? I would say the difference between someone that is nice is nice people, I would say, get walked all over. And they also can have ill intent with their actions, therefore they can use being nice as manipulation. So they're not doing it out of the kindness of their heart, they're, they're being nice to only benefit them. Where I feel kind people uh, extend their heart openly, but they're also trying to respect their own boundaries as well. So overextending will only be overextending until the person says, okay, I'm now disrespecting my own boundaries. And being kind to yourself means that you're not going to allow everyone to take advantage of you. So I feel that nice people um, get shit. And I feel that kind people also get shit. Because if you're nice, you still have an expectation for people to reciprocate the same type of action. But then when you're kind, like, you're like nicer. You get taken advantage of. But you still get taken advantage of. So honestly, 
just don't be nice or kind because they both suck. <laughs> okay, I have a question. What? Why do you have bruises on your face? <sighs> You're really asking me this right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I mean, I guess since I'm kind, I'm going to be honest. Um, so was it kind of me to ask? <laughs> it was not kind of me to ask, no. It was a very nice thing that you did because you had a motive. Oh, yeah. Okay. You had ill intent with asking me that because you knew that you were filming and you knew that I was going to have to expose myself. So Sorry. It's okay. Um, okay, so why do I have bruises? So, um, oh God, it doesn't feel good. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Um, so I did get some filler in my chin yesterday and this was not the first time that I've done that. I have gotten it about two times, yeah, two times before that. Um, they say that it takes about six to nine months for it to disintegrate, but I think because I work out and sweat too much or drink too much water, I don't know. I'd say mine probably disintegrates after like four to five months or so. Um, I got another one's, I'd say everyone's different. And then I also did some uh, Sculptra, is what it's called. Um, I did that in my jaw um, and then like a little bit in my cheeks as well. And it's supposed to uh, stimulate collagen production. Uh, where like I could have gotten just like filler here um, but again filler just like fills places that doesn't really like uh, contribute to any like new collagen production so I chose Sculptra because um, I'm not going to see like the immediate result but I would say over time it does help with the um, collagen simulation within the skin so I chose that option and honestly the filler and Sculptra is like around the same price anyway so it doesn't really it didn't really matter um, but yeah, and my point with that is, you know, I have definitely done enhances to my face. Um, I also have a deviated septum, but that's uh, a topic for another day. My point with this is, it is not our place to criticize or judge someone uh, based off of the decisions that they do for their life. I think with social media, we all think that we have an opinion um, and that needs to be expressed. You can have an opinion, but sometimes like this doesn't need to be like talked about. And so um, I'm just asking the people that watch this, like just please be respectful and be kind um, to the content that you do see. Um, I don't even have to actually be honest about this stuff. Like I can just like go on my mirror way and like not even uh, mention it, but I do share a lot of my life with you guys. So I would like that to be respected. That's my boundary is to respect me. Um, and. Also, too, just to reiterate, is I do appreciate my natural beauty, and as you guys can tell, that I've, I would say, changed my content in a way where I am focusing a little bit more on makeup and kind of uh, showing a different side of myself, and that's because I'm, I'm navigating myself to doing different things. I'm not going to just be fitness. Uh, my goal for being on social media was never just to be like in the fitness space and just like to stay there. That was never my goal. Um, and so you're going to kind of see me always have fitness as a foundation, but you're going to see me kind of like navigate myself into other directions. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm still going to be doing fitness my whole entire life. I'm, I'm going to be working out forever. Like that will never change. Um, but I think the cool thing for me will be in the future, like when I actually get to navigate myself to being able to work out in the gym and like not getting filmed every day. I think that that will be like a really exciting thing. Um, but we're not there yet. And... You know, up until then, I will continue to post my workout videos on YouTube. I think you guys like those. Um, and also comment what you want to see on YouTube. Um, but moral of the story is uh, I will not just be fitness. Um, please be respectful of what you see online. Um, you don't have to agree with everybody, but just be respectful. And also appreciate uh, my authenticity where, you know, celebrities get shit done to their face, every, you know, all the time. And they don't ever talk about it they just keep it to themselves so i you know take the risk of putting myself out there where i do have you know uh, people telling me their opinion because they think that because i'm sharing stuff that that it's needed to be said and it's not um and also i need to like make food but please do not tell me that i don't need to wear makeup if i see one more comment um, you're just gonna get blocked so what come here come here Say hi to YouTube. You can say hi. You say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube.
It's okay. I know you don't like the thunder. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You get scared? It's okay. You're such a princess, Daisy. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna go hide together. It's okay. It's okay. Show everyone what you're doing. Oh, she's drooling. Oh. Are you happy? You're drooling. Drooling. I didn't know you. First meal of the day, actually. First meal of the day. So what do we got here? Um, a lot. Um, I already took a bite of the bacon. Uh, cinnamon raisin bagel, spray butter, watermelon, and then 300 grams of potatoes. <clears throat> And I probably could still eat after this. Hmm. I think I'm gonna start with this. Hmm. Hmm. I make good eggs. Goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna go. See ya. <laughs> this is why I'm late. <laughs> Sorry, floor beneath me. I didn't mean it. All right, I have to sit like a lady. Come on. Ask me if I'm opening. Oh, what are you opening? It's a uh, package from Gymshark. Oh, okay. And there's a hole in it. Oh, well maybe cut where the hole is. That's like a whole wardrobe. I actually bought this myself. I utilize my code for the sale. I contributed to my own income. <laughs> All right, I am now ready for the gym. I'm gonna make like a little like pre-workout uh, concoction. This is gonna be like kind of similar to what I did on my story. If you saw me uh, create like the smoothie thing. Um, I'm gonna be utilizing the strawberry lemonade sour patch, of course. Um, but I don't wanna. I'm taking pre-workout way too late, so. I'm only gonna do like a little bit, just like like a little pick me up, like just like a little bit. So, let's see. okay, this is not even a fourth of a scoop because it's it's just too late. So, let's say sometime. Oh fuck, that was actually kind of a lot. Um, I'd say sometimes like with the lifestyle that I have, sometimes things happen in a day or. Like sometimes I have to like kind of jump when things go wrong. Um, I'd say business owners probably understand that like entire dynamic. So sometimes, oh by the way, I'm doing like light pineapple juice. I saw this at Publix. So I'm just gonna do like a little like, I don't know, like a little bit, like just a little bit. And it's only 40 calories per little can here. 10 carbs for like, um, oh, I think it's only 10 carbs. Okay, anyways. Um, sometimes I'm having to kind of just stop my day to make sure everything else goes, you know, well, because obviously, um, so yeah, the life of being a business owner. Okay, I need to, ooh, that's like actually a hundred. All right, I'm throwing this little piece out because I don't care about it. Oh, and I have lemons. Hold on. I have lemons. Let me find out real quick. Huh. Alright, we're definitely, we're making this one. Alright, let's see. It's mostly probably going to taste like strawberry, like, 
banana and I'm putting I'm gonna put some like raspberries on there as well but I kind of wanted to make it like useful for the gym <laughs> so I hope it's not too lemony so we'll, we'll figure it out as we go here okay so we have yogurt raspberries and like 22 grams of the pineapple juice and I don't count the diet cranberry juice because it's like zero calories anyways so I'm getting kind of like okay so this is like 50 I don't have enough room for all the things it's like I love this like new the ninja thing but I can't really fit a lot in here I'm trying to like make this kind of like a workout so like a pre-workout Thing there, so. Okay, we have 20 grams of oats, a spoon of the yogurt, and right. I don't even know if this is all gonna fit. You think it's all gonna fit? Looks like it. Need more liquid. to get to 100. Well, I can't leave it awkwardly. Ah, oh, 10 more, fuck. Yeah. Good enough. Oh wow, that yogurt's really protein-y. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using the, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this word, Okios? Okios? 23 grams of protein. Her thing, but oh, do we think this is going to explode everywhere? I really hope not. I do it over the sink. Yeah, I like to punish myself if I can't. not really like carby, you know, so like if I want to make potatoes, I just forget about it, honestly. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta do better. But I'd say um, the meals I typically get from them every week, I'd say is the servant turf. Um, I also really like the teriyaki chicken, uh, the steak stir fry. That's probably like one of my favorites. And then also um, the grilled shrimp is like really nice because it doesn't have any fat. So, wow. Will you eat these pancakes one? The pancakes? I have to change my order. Yeah, I'm just. Is this the box that comes in? Yeah. And they come frozen too. Like it comes with like the dry ice. Well, it's like I live in Florida, so the dry ice becomes like very liquidy, but. Um, I only say this about the pancakes now because they're not good is because I actually like make a really bomb breakfast lately and I won't feel like look forward to it every day. So I'd say typically in like a week, um, 
that's like kind of like one of the main meals that I actually do cook by myself. And I have no idea how this is gonna fit, but we're all just gonna make it. Hi, um, we are at the gym now, and I feel like every time we film YouTube, it's late as fuck. So yeah, but we're doing a fucking hard leg day. Lucas, what am I doing today? Day. No, but what am I doing? Uh, oh yeah, you can't. <laughs> All I want to say is if you've gotten to this far, uh, say in the YouTube video, and you're like, you're looking for the workout, if you're not ready to get fucked up, then like I'm gonna have to have you like leave like left stage. Is that what they say? Left stage? Down stage? Left stage? I don't know. But seriously though, like I have the hat on backwards today for I've been sitting here for like a minute and like really dreading this right now. But like this really like destroys my glutes. So basically I just kind of do it staggered, like one foot's up. And like it kind of looks funky, but I swear to God, it like just it makes your glutes just like just destroy. So I'm gonna. All right, so right now I am super setting in the quad extension and then the hamstring curl. And I am like really beat right now. I think the ceiling is bleeding. Um, but yeah, I'd say it may not look like it, I would say to the public, but I would say I, I do majority of the time have really long days. Um, because I would say outside of just content, I would say like, I was like never taught how to build a team. And I would say I, I constantly like learn lessons about okay. everything, every day. So I'd say life has been really different living in Florida because not only has I would say everything elevated and I would say the best way, but there's also been like a lot of changes and I would say there's been a lot of trust that has been broken. 
which makes it very hard to, I would say, trust people in general, and then also it makes it hard to be on all the time. Because I would say everybody else outside of me that's a part of this can, like, separate themselves, but, like, I can't. And sometimes as a female, it gets honestly really hard because I don't always want to be on, but in order for this to run successfully right now, I, I do have to be on. So that's why I work out late. That's why I kind of look probably tired most of the time. That's why I say mostly all these YouTube videos are filmed at night because there's just not time during the day. Because um, sometimes I just don't have control of the day. So just wanted to give some uh, context there and I'm gonna do my set. All right, next and last thing of the night, I do have dumbbell lunges here. So I, I'm like honestly cashed. This whole workout like just destroyed me. I tried to have like limited rest time. So therefore I could be really efficient. And I try to follow like my coach's directions with like not taking more than like, let's say 30 seconds or a minute. Um, depending on the extras, I, obviously the compound movements I always take, I'd say like a little bit more than like a minute or sometimes two. And then with my accessory movements, I'm trying to be like 30 seconds to like a minute max. And even just having that mindset when you're doing your workout, it'll make you move a little bit faster. So you gotta just keep yourself on like a time limit. But anyways, this is it. All right, um, we are done with the workouts. When you guys enjoyed, uh, my fun little leg day. So typically I have, uh, I would say I'm working out four days a week right now. Um, I eventually want to get back into a five day split, but this was like my second uh, variation of my leg day. So my first one goes harder. I just say I do, I rotate between deadlifts and squats. So I'll make sure that we get um, one of those workouts on YouTube as well. And in the comments, um, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. I'm gonna try to keep YouTube, uh, I would say like very motivational based and also um, workout based because I know that you guys follow me a lot for fitness and I know that uh, some of my content is always cheating. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wanna have YouTube be kind of like really reliant as my workout comment. So let me know what you guys wanna see um, and also the comments let me know who you want to see me collab with. Bye, don't forget to subscribe.